this is Terry Lake. In 2017, serving as BC's Health Minister, I was proud to proclaim the very first BC Seniors Care Providers Day. That was to recognize the over 50,000 employees who work in all forms of this important sector, whether they're staff in contracted or government owned and operated care homes, or providing support to people who live independently. Today marks the fifth BC Seniors Care Providers Day, and we have to acknowledge how COVID-19 has made this work more important and incredibly more challenging than ever before. Words really can't capture the tremendous lengths that our providers have gone to to keep their colleagues and the seniors for whom they care safe. BC Seniors Care Providers Day is usually marked by a gathering at the BC Legislature where the winners of the BC Care Provider Awards are celebrated by the Premier and by the Minister of Health. And we promise we will return to Victoria when it's safe to do so. So on behalf of the BC Care Providers Association and Engage BC, thank you for all of your tremendous work supporting seniors in BC. Thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of BC Seniors Care Providers Day on this so important year to acknowledge these incredible hardworking people. Just on a personal note, my best friend is someone who works in a long-term care home and we have been really unable to see her or spend any time with her during the pandemic because that is her chosen work. She loves it, she finds it incredibly rewarding, but for her it has meant an incredible sacrifice that she hasn't been able to spend time with her children, with her family and her friends. And We really miss her, but we understand the important work that she's doing. I think that applies to everybody who is working to help keep our seniors safe during this pandemic and beyond. So thank you so much for the contributions that you make and all of those sacrifices, we appreciate it. On behalf of the Hospital Employees Union, I want to recognize the tens of thousands of HEU members and all workers who provide care to seniors every single day. It's not easy work, but it's important work. And you deserve gratitude and respect for the comfort and care that you provide to our elders. It's been a really difficult year on the front lines of seniors care. And I want to acknowledge the physical and mental exhaustion that many of you are facing as a result of this lethal pandemic. But there are hopeful signs. Vaccines are working, the number of outbreaks are falling, and there is a growing recognition by the public and decision makers that we must do better to value, support, and protect our elders and those who care for them. On BC Seniors Care Providers Day, we thank you for your compassion, your care, and your commitment. February the 23rd is Seniors Care Providers Day in British Columbia. It's a chance for us to recognize and honor the hardworking frontline workers that support British Columbia's most vulnerable seniors. Today, we want to say a very heartfelt thank you to all of you for your passion, your hard work, and your dedication. Now more than ever, we know the importance of the work that you do. Thank you especially when you were family, when family couldn't be there. Please know that we appreciate you and recognize you today on Seniors Care Providers Day in British Columbia. Hey everybody, Jen Lyle here from Safe Care BC. I wanted to say a sincere and heartfelt thank you to all of you working in seniors care right now. I know this past year has been a hard year, but I also know through our work here at Safe Care BC and my family's own personal experience, the incredible impact you have on the lives of those you serve and the warmth, the caring, and the dedication you bring to your work every day. So as we move towards days that are brighter, both figuratively and literally, a sincere thank you on behalf of all of us here at the Safe Care BC team and grandkids everywhere for the work that you do. Thank you. Hi there, it's me, Jung Lee, and my co-anchor, Scott Roberts from CTV News, and we wanted to take a moment today to recognize BC Seniors Care Providers Day. And a normal year, you all do absolutely incredible work taking care of our parents and our grandparents, our great-grandparents in some cases, but of course this year was anything but normal. You were faced with the most difficult, dangerous, heartbreaking circumstances and really worked tirelessly day in and day out doing your very best to help get us through this pandemic. We heard your stories and we broadcast many of those stories about the sacrifices that you made. So to all the care aides, the LPNs, RNs, frontline workers, really anybody involved in the care of our seniors, thank you for the work you do and continue to do. Hi, 
I'm Isabel McKenzie, BC Seniors Advocate. Today is proclaimed BC Seniors Care Provider Day, and it's on this day that we take the time to formally recognize the tens of thousands of women and men who bring care, comfort, and friendship to our seniors every day. This past year, more than ever, has shown the commitment and the compassion of our care aides, our nurses, and our allied health professionals. On behalf of BC seniors and their families, I thank you profoundly for your service and for your sacrifices that you make every day and this year more than ever. With profound gratitude, thank you for all you do. Hi, I'm Christine Sorensen. As president of the BC Nurses Union, I am proud to join you in celebrating February 23rd as BC Seniors Care Providers Day. Across BC, members of the BC Nurses Union work closely with their colleagues in community, home, and long-term care settings. This past year has highlighted the resolve, skills, and devotion of all seniors care providers in ways none of us could have imagined. And your commitment to deliver care to this vulnerable population is an inspiration to us all. I am so proud to join our government in recognizing all of BC's care providers for your dedication, compassion, and hard work. So today, to every BCNU member who has dedicated their career to caring for our seniors, thank you. Hi, it's Linda Steele from CKNW Radio. I just wanted to say thank you to all the care providers in this province for the incredible job that you've done in the past year under really difficult circumstances. Thank you for taking care of my dad, for making sure that he's fed and loved and hugged even when I couldn't do that for him. You've worked so hard in the past year and what you're doing is so important. And I just want you to know how much I appreciate it and everybody in the province of BC. So thank you for a job well done. Hello, I'm Dr. Bonnie Henry, BC's Provincial Health Officer. Today on BC Seniors Care Providers Day, we are celebrating the people who provide comfort, care, and so much more for our seniors and elders. The COVID-19 pandemic has taken an incredible toll on all British Columbians, but more especially on our seniors. BC's LPNs, RNs, frontline and administrative workers have remained a strong pillar for those they care for throughout this challenging time. You continue to work with compassion and kindness and have been there for the seniors who have not been able to have visits from their family and friends. BC Seniors Care Providers Day is proclaimed every year, but especially this year, I want to give my thanks to the more than 50,000 care providers in BC for all the work that you do. You are all making a difference in the lives of seniors across our province by being kind, being calm, and of course, by being safe. Thank you. Hi, I'm Adrian Dix, BC Minister of Health. Uh, a few minutes ago, I was with Dr. Rick Augustuson giving you one of our three o'clock briefings about the COVID-19 pandemic. And it's now uh, a, a real pleasure to be able to celebrate BC Seniors Care Provider Day, to celebrate uh, all of the people who provide seniors care in our province, especially this year, but every year. The care aides and the LPNs, the registered nurses, the health sciences professionals, the people who do physio and support people in long-term care, provide recreation, the people at the associations and the managers, everybody in long-term care. It goes without saying that this has been a hard year. And we in British Columbia, in spite of how difficult it has been, have done better than really any other jurisdiction in North America in long-term care. But there have been real losses ones that you feel and I feel, but I want to say how much I appreciate all of the work that's been done, all of the people who go into work day after day, even though it is hard and difficult to provide care and indeed love to people and residents in long-term care, residents and assisted living. So I say thank you, happy BC Seniors Care Providers Day, and hopefully we'll be able to come together next year around this time and celebrate the day again as we frequently do with care aides and LPNs and people who manage long-term care across our province and celebrate together 
Now we get to do it virtually, and I want to express my appreciation to everyone involved. Happy BC Seniors Care Provider Day.